Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say I play PC VR wirelessly anywhere in the house seamlessly. I record while doing it and I have no problems whatsoever. And that's because I have the ultimate setup when it comes to PC VR. And I'd like to share that with you today. So enjoy. Hello everybody. Today I would like to talk to you about the absolute best way you can set up your VR headset today and for ease of viewing i'm going to leave timestamp chapters for this video because some of this might not be relevant for you some of the latest stuff which is a bit more techy will be and when you get a chance have a look at the video description to see links to the products which i use and which i found most useful in getting this setup running now if this video does get a little bit complicated please do feel free to ask me some questions in the comments and at the end of the video i will leave a pictured graph of my layout so it should make sense and guys as always if this has been insightful for you or has helped you in any way consider subscribing for more content like this thank you very much and enjoy now when i first started out with my oculus i had the oculus link cable and whilst this was good and fast it always used to disconnect randomly the connections between my computer and my oculus would always disconnect and it would happen at the most inconvenient times in the middle of the game as well as that i found it very restricting because I would always have this cable that would either be in front of me or behind me. I would have to tuck it down my shirt. I would always be conscious of it being there. And as a result, the immersion was lost. Luckily, around about this time, Oculus Air Link started to become a thing and it was actually not too bad. Now you have two options. You can use Oculus Air Link or you can use Virtual Desktop, which you can buy off of the Oculus Store. Um, some people prefer either, personally, I will always use Airlink because I find it the most compatible. Well, now that you don't have a physical connection to your computer, you no longer have a power source, which is gonna keep you gaming longer. As a result, you're gonna need a battery pack. And there are a few that you can choose from. Now, I use a power bank just like this one, except you need to make sure that it is attached, not just by the actual USB-C socket, but also by a strap. And that is because it will damage the socket over time. Now, I really hate to say this because I do really like Oculus products, but do not buy the Oculus Elite Strap because just a simple Google search will show you time and time again that it will snap. Now, that's the basic stuff out the way. The techie stuff is just coming up. You now have an Oculus headset which has its own power source and is wirelessly connected to your router. However, there's a problem. For some reason, it's very jittery, it's very slow, and it keeps cutting out. And the reason why is because the router that you're using is sending traffic to other devices in your house. Now, I use BT, and their router is quite good. But mobile phones, smart TVs, other people's laptops and computers, even Alexa, all of these devices, they are going to take up all of the bandwidth that this router is able to push out. Now, not only that, but your gaming PC will have to be very close to your router in order for you to be able to have good signal. And in my house, my gaming PC is on the other side of the house. And it still works perfectly fine, and I'm going to show you how. So, so far we have identified two problems. The distance between your PC and your main router, and also the traffic which is going through your main router. Let's fix the first problem traffic going through your main router. The first thing you should do is purchase a dedicated router which will connect to your main hub. So I have purchased an Archer AX10 which is a Wi-Fi 6 router. I would highly recommend that you go for a Wi-Fi 6 router. And all you need to do is connect it via Ethernet link to your main hub and what that will do is allow the Archer or the Wi-Fi 6 router to handle all of the traffic that your Oculus Air Link is going to be putting out. And that is quite a lot of data. However, it's dedicated only to your Oculus, which means people's mobile phones, people's other devices, 
they're not going to be interfering whatsoever. So we've taken care of the problem of bandwidth. What happens if your PC and your main hub are very far away? Uh, you can't exactly run an ethernet cable 20 meters across your house because that's just going to be disruptive. So what I use are these little devices called TP-Links. Specifically, I use the AV500. Now these clever little devices will allow you to put your internet connection through the power lines of your house. How clever is that? So these devices come in pairs and what you'll do is plug one of them into the power sockets of your house near your main internet hub. You will then connect your main internet hub to this device using an ethernet cable. You will then get the second one of the two pairs and you will put it in a power socket near to your gaming PC. And then you will be able to connect the ethernet cable from the second one to your Wi-Fi 6 router. And once you've done that, all you'll need to do is connect your Wi-Fi 6 router to your PC and you will have a perfect setup. Bearing in mind guys, if you do play your games in a different room to your gaming PC, all you need to do is move your Wi-Fi 6 router and one of the two TP links to the room that you play it in. Just plug it into the power socket in the wall and the internet will go right through your power mains and you will have the best connection ever. So just to recap, the green line of course is the internet connection to your main hub. Then your main hub is connected through an ethernet line to one of the two tp links the tp link is then connected to your power socket or your power mains and then in the room where you want to be playing your vr you'll have the second tp link and that'll also be connected to the wall using a power line that tp link is then connected to your wi-fi 6 router using an ethernet cable and your wi-fi 6 router is then connected to your gaming pc using an ethernet cable as well and once you have all of this set up make sure that you connect your vr headset just to the wi-fi 6 router don't make the mistake of connecting it to your old hub then you'll have dedicated traffic to your headset and it will be seamless all you'll have to worry about is battery power after that enjoy guys i use a setup it's amazing uh, i don't get any hitches um, it's good fun as i said before if you have any issues with some of the games you might want to look at using um, the other app which is called uh, remote desktop however uh, mostly i use airlink and um, you know i have no problems whatsoever i really do hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys.